climax was a challenge okay. it was a technical challenge to get the mm. ship to move and the stunt to take place and the rain to slash a typical one page script which is supposed to be one minute on screen this took uh, so many locations to actually work out so the approach is always let's shoot it for real so that's how you start the grandeur that they expected in the film was not there how much of it is cgi how much of it is uh, sets will take away the magic there are no exact visual references for that period anyway so you had to uh, do the research and go up to a point and then take the creative liberty to build on it vetrimanan says that radhanaraj chodan was not a hindu king and it's a misrepresentation to show him that way yeah and he's also giving a perspective on history how it is understood that what it actually was Ponyan Selvan has opened to rave reviews and packed theaters across the country. From older generations who waited every week to read Kalki's column to the newer ones who've been listening to the audio books, everybody has their takes and takeaways. Today, we're going to delve into the behind the scenes of the film with its executive producer, Sivan. And thank you so much for joining us today, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. The last time I came here, there was a sense of nervousness in the air. This time, there is a lot more celebration and smiles. Did you expect this level of success for the film? Actually, it's a difficult question to answer because you can't quantify the expectation and compare that with the success, which again has to be quantified in some form. Um, I I can summarize it in a way that uh, it's been very fulfilling. It's been very satisfying to know that uh, the film is received well. Um, our only time will tell whether we expected. so much or we were surprised ourselves i think it's a little too early for that at the moment we wanted everyone to like the film and they are liking it and that's more than enough speaking about quantifying the success a lot of numbers regarding the box office 100 crores in tamil nadu over 250 crores in india are these numbers that you are willing to confirm right now <laughs> no it's a evolving thing at the end of the run we'll all know how well it has done but it's true that it's doing well Uh, to i mean it's running to packed houses uh, everywhere wherever it's released uh, numbers are numbers <laughs> we'll know them later just seeing the scale of the film it's very clear that you require a huge crew to pull this off what was the major challenge that all of you faced while shooting this particular film i i think the most um, interesting challenge uh, with this film uh, we all knew it was going to be the scale Hmm. and it was the scale and uh, which means you have more number of people hmm. more number of uh, costume requirements art requirement lights and more rooms to be booked more people to be fed more tickets to be bought for flights and trains and more cars uh, more liters of gasoline to be consumed you know the just the numbers were big uh, because each scene had so much going for it even a scene where you don't see uh, too many people in front of camera the the setting the, mm. the the whole prep had to be done by mm. hundreds and hundreds of people so the scale was the challenge which means uh, your planning has mm. to be uh, for that scale mm. so uh, the the biggest learning was to not leave too many things to the last minute in the movie itself what were some scenes that were really challenging for you to shoot but at the same time it's something that you also enjoyed in terms of the process well there are some sequences in the film where multiple events happen in multiple locations okay. like there is a an action scene happening on a beach mm. there is an action between vandiya devan and his captors mm. and there is uh, ponin selvan and kundavai on an elephant going somewhere else so okay. so when you're talking about a sequence like that all that could be a one page mm. uh, detail on the script mm. but it already had uh many things going for it okay so to, to, i mean obviously the climax was a challenge okay. right? it was a technical challenge to get the mm. ship to move and the stunt to take place and the rain to slash and to light all of it and get the stunt choreography done actors worked so hard for it oh. uh, that was a big challenge because it was a night shoot as well because of the uh, storm leaving that aside i'll go back to the sequence just yeah. before that when vandiya devan is captured and uh, brought to the ship hmm. uh, where people mistake him to be the prince that one had so many things going for it hmm. 
that a typical one page script which is supposed to be one minute on screen right. this took uh, so many locations to actually work out so to uh, coordinate all of that was a fun thing how many days did that particular sequence take secret <laughs> <laughs> how important was cgi in this movie to take the story forward and to kind of accomplish what you were visualizing the the way uh, mani sir likes to make movies and the way uh, ravi varman likes to shoot or the way mr tota tarni designs hmm. his art they like to do everything real hmm. they they want everything to be hmm. um, done with real elements as much as possible so the first step is to see how it can be done okay for real huh. and what you can't do for technical reasons or safety reasons or for a, a different scale that you want to see on screen than what you can pull off on set you go for vfx so okay. so the approach is always let's shoot it for real so that's how you start okay. that that sequence obviously involved a lot of uh, visual effects mm -hmm. it obviously involved a lot of uh, um mechanical work also to mm -hmm. uh, uh, make the whole thing happen um i if you ask me i would say it's probably 50 50 so one more question i had about that particular scene was it was quite dark mm -hmm. a lot of people who hadn't read the books and weren't already familiar had some trouble following what was happening in that scene was there a deliberate conscious choice or was that something that you just thought would be easily understood by the audience no it's a ship caught in the storm mm -hmm. and in the storm that's what you see and uh, probably that's how uh, two people survived an attack from so many people also because mm -hmm. it's uh, they are not sitting ducks uh, the nature is uh, creating havoc for both of them mm -hmm. they are not just it's not just two people fighting 30 people or something it's two people and 30 people fighting and fighting nature also mm -hmm. so the nature is part of the scene how it goes dark and how it becomes difficult for them to survive and it's possible that even if all of those guys were friends and not fighting they may still have ended up under the sea anyway because the nature is quite important there was some amount of feedback that not, the grandeur that they expected in the film was not there for instance the introductions for the character in the book ponian selvan is given a lot of build up before we see ponian selvan they say he has magnetism you see him and you immediately love him and similarly the fight sequences are described in great detail in the movie you chose a more realistic approach ponian selvan is not given that kind of hype and the fight sequences are i would say to an extent almost fight sequences are amped up but not to the extent people are used to seeing in uh, cinema i hope you like it because a lot of people seem to like it also mm -hmm. uh, so that the story is more uh, relatable and there is some sort of believability in it characters stay as characters mm -hmm. and not the superpowers so there is some flesh and blood there is some three dimension so it's a it's a creative call it can go any which way so we've chosen this path one particular scene that i really liked was where vandya devan is being chased by the palace guards mm -hmm. and uh, it had a very jackie chan movie kind of uh, feel yeah. to it as he's moving through all these people like you incorporate a lot of people and a lot of props into that scene like could you tell me like logistically how that how difficult that was it was a fun shoot and uh, we had kecha who is this action director from uh, bangkok mm. uh, choreographing that um, and uh, manisha's instruction to him mm. was to make that a nice item number where it's a fun sequence because uh, um it's uh, quite early in the film and that's when you are uh, warming up to this lead character and he is also uh, this smart guy uh, mm -hmm. who gets into trouble mm -hmm. and gets out of it also all the time so this fight was something uh, that uh, encapsulates uh, his journey and his character he walks into this trouble but somehow manages to squeeze himself out of it so it was fun and uh, we shot that with a little bit of tech support but karthi did all his stunts and that that made all the difference i think yeah when he jumped from those high buildings you can see that <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of scenes that you really liked could you also give us some examples of a few other scenes from the movie that were challenging to shoot but at the same time of course the team had a really 
Yeah, like I was saying, there are some scenes that are quite obviously big mm. uh, in terms of scale, you know, yeah. the, like the number of people and the other elements. But there are also scenes that are that don't have too many people, Correct. but could, that could still be yeah. uh, difficult to execute because mm. of what the set took. Uh, so uh, that that action piece is a, a very good example mm. of uh, everything coming together on a grander scale. But then all the interior scenes also, mm. uh, inside palaces and uh, other beautiful buildings where you have only a few limited characters but their costumes and jewellery and the lighting work had to be treated with care and you had to bring in realism yet everything looks uh, exquisite. So well, it's that kind of a balance you had to strike all the time. So you spoke about special effects. In Tamil cinema, special effects and VFX is probably used for stunt sequences and songs and things like that. But for a movie to tell the story itself, to use this kind of special effects is rel is relatively new compared to... Uh, you're probably talking about uh, CGI, computer generated yeah. uh, effects. But we've always had optical effects mm -hmm. in uh, Indian films. In fact, South Indian movies had been really famous for all that, mm -hmm. where you had uh, actors donning multiple characters. Correct. Um, all those special effects shots were mm. done in camera mm. uh, with a lot more pain and a lot less technical support. So visual effects had been part of our storytelling uh, idiom for a long, long time. Mm, only the confidence that now we have mm. with the uh, computer generated uh, uh, CG support mm. that you can uh, add a lot more of it to your script. But even that... Um, I would say started sometime in the early 90s okay. mm. and it had been growing ever since and there have been some movies done by uh, uh, Mr. Kamal Hassan or Mr. Rajamoli in the mm. past and even Mr. Ani had done Anjali long back Correct. with optical effects. So it's it, it had always been there only now it's become a little easier. A lot of the sets in this film are also CJ for example the they show the palace, mm. the long shot of the palace is CGI. It right? was shot in Tanjavur. It is Tanjavur, Tanjavur, Padayare is Padayare, that's what it is. Uh, how much of it is CGI, how much of it is uh, sets, will take away the magic. Okay. <laughs> so, so look at it as Tanjavur, look at it as uh, Kadambur. That's the way. Correct, the Tanjavur <laughs> palace. Was it difficult for you as an executive producer to plan things when a lot of it is not in front of the eyes, but you need to kind of account for that and then go ahead with your yeah, that's, planning. That's true for the mm. uh, whole crew, for the actors, for the cinematographer to mm. frame and uh, for the art department right. to uh, build a set that will get extended later. And, and the, the more interesting challenge that we had was that there are no exact visual references for that mm. period anyway. So you had to... Uh, do the research and go up to a point and then take the creative liberty to build on it. Betty Manan says that Radharaja Chodan was not a Hindu king and it's a misrepresentation to show him that way. I don't know. That's his point of view. Uh, presented as a Hindu king by... some. He's not talking about the movie actually. Mm -hmm. He's talking about... Uh, Radharaja Chodan. Yeah, and he's also uh, giving a perspective on history, how it is understood and what it actually was. That's not connected to Puneen Silver at all. There are a lot of comparisons to Bahubali. Are you immune to it now? Or is it something that still kind of frustrates you? Not at all. It, why should it frustrate? I mean, Bahubali was a, a game changer. It was an inspiration that people could make this film. Mm -hmm. And uh, that it was possible to mount a film on that scale. It could have those kind of uh, visuals and could have uh, language mm -hmm. that was spoken many centuries ago and yet have... Uh, this many takers in the theater. So it was uh, an inspiration. It was uh, the, the push in the right direction for us. So what's the question about Bahubali? <laughs> All right. So it, it's it was it's always um, it it will always be there as a landmark film. Speaking about Ponyan Selvan 2, which is likely to release next year, could you tell us if the shooting is done, at what stage it is, even if it's being edited? No, no, shoot is done. Mm -hmm. We are trying to figure out how long it will take and we'll announce a release date hmm. soon. Am I right in saying it's May or June next year? Hopefully, <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Vikram has got a lot of appreciation for his role as Aditya Karikaran. In that particular scene where he moves from just having won a battle 
and then he moves to the scene of regret where he speaks about his past mistake about his love for nandini could you take us through that scene and how it uh, was shot process of shooting that was where you create enough space for the actor to perform mm. and not have too many distractions and it's just for him to let go and uh, reach that zone so it was a pretty uh, straightforward shoot in that sense he was well prepared he, he knew what he had to do and he had ideas and it was a conversation between him and the director in that sense and vikram prabhu was there he is also very important to the scene to get that performance from him and uh, were there any scenes or performances where you and the crew were like taken aback by what you had just witnessed you've been an assistant director as well yeah. you've been there where you've demanded a certain scene to be done a certain way from an actor yeah. so was there something that blew you off your feet that this was one of the scenes that that really turned out uh, beautifully mm. uh, the other one is uh, vandya devan and ponin selvan meeting okay. uh, that that i thought was quite cool as well the action scene mm. and the scene that follows that was very creative in the sense them taking different weapons to fight and moving round and round and things wasn't it cool <laughs> it was super cool i loved it yeah okay was that something that came in the script phase were there some points that actually you decided to include once you got there there, there will be improvisations mm. in any film any scene mm. by any director or actor but on a on a film of this scale and this type you try to keep that to the minimum because you can't immediately produce let's say i want 10 elephants it's not going to happen right. so you so all that is uh, discussed already uh there might be small enhancements that would have happened but that fight was planned like that there are a lot of war scenes in the movie which mm. had a large number of extras a large number of animals and a lot of action happening throughout right logistically speaking was that very very difficult to execute i think the full credit should go to the uh, production and costume and makeup teams um, because uh, people who are going to be in front of camera mm. both the stunt actors as well as the mm. Uh, junior artists they will have to report to the set at 2 o'clock that means there is somebody there from 1:30 to serve them tea and water mm. and then they uh, go through the uh, covid testing process oh. and when they test negative they go to the hair and makeup tent and then they go to the costume tent then they are given the weapon by the time they reach this it's 6 in the morning mm. so they are given breakfast and then they go to the set and we start the shoot so every morning this was the case mm. and while the performers got ready like this and the crew that was getting them ready had to be prepared even before they came to the set and this was a regular occurrence mm. and it happened only because these guys never lost uh, their energy in getting this done i wanted to ask you as an executive producer you're responsible for bringing the director's creative vision onto the screen and when you had first heard of this film it was decades ago you knew money sir was going to take it up in 2010 again you had plan to take this up more seriously what changed from 2010 to 2022 what do you think has gone even better than it would have 10 years ago it became easier to execute a lot of this mm. and it became more feasible to have a multi starer correct now mm. and i think we had the support of uh, mr subhash karan so a strong producer to Mm. uh take this up was really important so all these things came together very nicely okay. and we could pull it off in a multi star like ponian selvan how difficult was it to fix the schedules of all these cast members to be able to bring them there at the right time and keep continuity in the way they look i think first of all you need to have the support of uh the actors mm. uh, because they have to get up early come and get their hair makeup done and wear the jewelry and the costume and then come to the set and get frequent touch ups the most beautiful thing was like i said everyone had the single minded drive to make this film mm-hmm. come through so th- no time was wasted on uh, dealing with anything that was uh, non creative you know if the actors or technicians had a problem it was always about getting their work done right how to get this better what do i have to do to correct this there was no uh, silly ego issues mm. anywhere uh, when some actors were not shooting they were participating in the shoot mm. as crew members okay. like when ravi jaim ravi went for his training mm. karthi was there to uh, egg him on mm. 
and when karti was shooting at night uh, vikram was, vikram sir was there to uh, just give some support so it it's quite good to have uh, that kind of uh, positive energy flowing through the uh, whole shoot you know whose performance were you particularly impressed by something that blew you off your feet jairam sir was outstanding mm. i thought he really made darwar kadi and nambi work the same way it works on paper thank you so much for your time was great talking to you thanks for meeting me <laughs>